Ma tōtō mawairu tapu ane e rupono i te māngai o ngā riki hei kai āwhina hei kai tūtō ko mai ai nei a ke nei ai. Mārama Tangana Minute, day 21. So today's session is going to be a wrap up of our Rātan and Kingitanga short series, very short. We probably could have done a um, hundred videos on its own just uh, to discuss uh, the Rātan and Kingitanga relationship. There's a lot of kōrero in there. Um, but that's Kūrunehana done for this year whānau. Um, and this Kūrunehana actually gave us an opportunity to discuss and reflect on some of the key things around the historical relationship between Rata and, and Kingitanga. Um, but in this video, we're going to do something different. Uh, I think we've got, we've discussed enough content for us to start to have a kōrero about. It's, an, it's one thing to actually develop an understanding, uh, but what are we going to do with that understanding? So, as we get closer to the 100 years, we still have to think about the next 100 years. So it's important for us to actually look at uh, the history, but also talk about what do we want to do for the next 100 years. And so, in terms of the relationship between Ratana and Kingitanga, and all of this kōrero that's tied in between the two relationships, how important is that for us today? What do we want to see happening in the next 100 years? Is the Tiriti o Waitangi still important? Is our Tino Rangatiratanga still important? Um, mana motuhake, is that still on the table? Uh, what does that look like now? Or are there other issues that are affecting our people that we need to look at and leverage this relationship? It's one thing to have a relationship and have historical um, kōrero uh, between the two movements, but what are we going to do about it finally? So this uh, for tonight just really sparking some kōrero um, and hopefully um, throughout the kōrero um, come some hua, come some food for thought in terms of what we might be looking at for the next hundred years. So, alright, kia ora tata, let's kōrero. <laughs>